Twitter has become a primary source for breaking news for millions of Americans, so it came as quite a shock when the Associated Press posted this erroneous tweet Tuesday. Breaking. Two explosions in the White House and Barack Obama is injured. Sent out to the AP's 1.9 million followers and retweeted about 2,000 times before the account was suspended minutes later. The AP quickly announced it had been hacked. At the White House itself, there was a quick clarification. I can say uh, that the president is fine. I was uh, just with him. The online hacking had very real effects just after the tweet was posted. U.S. stocks lost $100 billion in value within minutes, but did quickly gain that back when the post was revealed as a fake. A group called the Syrian Electronic Army claimed responsibility for the tweet within the hour. And although that hasn't been confirmed, the group was behind the hacking of CBS's 60 Minutes two days ago. The AP is the latest in a series of high-profile hacking victims on the social media site. And one recent incident, Burger King's Twitter logo was replaced by that of McDonald's. But the AP hacking had much more serious implications. The New York Times reports in the past few days, malware had infected some of the AP's computers. Hackers can use malware to gain a foothold inside a company's computer network and from there can gain access to a company's usernames and passwords. The AP hacking prompted calls Monday for new security measures on Twitter. The Huffington Post's Mia Aquino noting recent hacking victims were verified and were supposed to be specially protected. The AP's social media accounts remain suspended shortly after the hacking. Representatives for the news agency said they were ensuring their accounts are secure before bringing them back online. For Newsy, I'm Zach Toombs.